Fall and winter is upon us, and with that means cold, flu, and allergy season. But which is which, and when should you make a trip to the doctor? Lily Pesavento sat down with a family physician this afternoon. She's right here in the studio with more details on this. Lily? Thank you, Tom. As an avid allergy sufferer myself, I've been through it all. Having my only two allergens in my yard has made me really evaluate what works best. But some folks still haven't figured out how to combat their fall allergies. Ragweed, corn pollen, oak trees, and of course grass. These are all the allergens of fall, and they can cause a number of symptoms. With allergies, you have more like watery eyes, sneezing, um, runny nose, and stuff like that. Stacy Horn is a family nurse practitioner at UAP's Convenient Care in Terre Haute, and she sees an influx of patients during the fall season. Fall and spring is the most common time because the pollen's floating around in the air and that kind of thing. Winter's not usually too bad. Patients range from allergy veterans to those who think their symptoms may be caused by the common cold. Colds usually last for about a week. Um, if it goes on past that, it's probably more allergy related. Indiana State University student Emily Kintz knows exactly when her allergies are about to hit. Groggy. I wake up and I'll have really bad like sinus headaches and I just don't feel like doing anything. Kintz and fellow student Leanne Weingard don't have time to wallow around with their symptoms. I start taking medicine. Like, I don't want it to get to, like, the point where I almost can't stand it. Like, I'd rather catch it from the beginning and, like, start taking care of it then rather than to, like, let it get really bad. Allergy medications are here for a reason. So when in doubt, discuss your symptoms with a physician and find out what course of treatment works best for you. I recommend Claritin or Zyrtec every day. It's just a once a day thing. Um, Allegra is another one that you can do. And then Flonase is another one that I like to recommend as well. Over-the-counter medication is easy and affordable, and even essential oils have been used to combat the, the symptoms. Fall allergies are not typically dangerous. However, if you begin to notice signs like throat swelling and inability to breathe, immediately head to the hospital for further treatment. Tom. All right, Lily, thank you. And uh, remember to cover your mouth and nose when you cough and sneeze.